Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today I'm going to be talking about the YOLO Box Studio. What is the YOLO Box Studio? Well, that is where you can build the studio of your choice for the message that you are looking to convey for your show and base it on YOLO Box. Like all the tutorials that I make for YOLO Box are filmed here in my studio using the YOLO Box. And I'm going to show you that today. For example, here I am in front of my green screen. This is the same exact shot you were looking at just a moment ago, but now you're looking behind the camera that records me. And this particular camera that I'm using is a Sony ZV-1. I chose the ZV-1 because it has this great feature where it will rack focus this, a product that you hold up in front of the camera. It knows to look, pull the focus towards that item, and then if you pull it away, it'll automatically rack, back, rack focus back to me. This is a fantastic feature. It's, uh, it's available in a couple of these vlogging cameras, and it's not, it's not something you find very much in DSLRs. I know a lot of people love to shoot with that super shallow depth of field, but this is what I chose for me. You choose what works for you. Like when I do this and I go back to me, that is the feature that I wanted for my studio. A little bit behind the scenes, my space is not really that big. I have a table here that I use to show the product that I'm working on. I have an overhead camera that shoots down to show the product so I can switch to it like this and we can see the product very closely over top. I'm working on a video for this kill of you and then we can cut back to me and by having the YOLO box right here on the table I can see all my different angles. I can easily switch between them. I can bring up graphics. I could bring up videos. I, I have full control of the show literally a finger tap away. Uh, I have a green screen behind me and that's what I use to remove the background so that you don't see just a gray backdrop. I have, I can change what I have behind me. Um, and I've actually have rented this space out and put other backdrops back here, like a bookcase, like uh, a, a reading room or something like that. And people have read from a prompter. I don't have a prompter hooked up for most of my video work because video is what I do. I don't need it prompted but I, ha I do have a prompter that I do use when a client needs to use a prompter and that goes in front of the camera right here. I have a large soft light up here and I've actually done a video on this soft light. It's a four foot long soft light that gives me a nice soft, pretty much shadow free unless I get really close, shadow free backdrop here. So I'm not casting multiple shadows on the backdrop. Uh, but even so, because this light is up here, by the time you get to the bottom, it's a little bit darker. So I have, I have other lights that are down here that illuminate the bottom of, you can see the shadows just from these bottom lights um, that fill in the bottom of the green screen down here. So I have a work table, I have my YOLO box, I have um, the, the backdrop, the lighting. For audio, I have a, a small boom right here and I have it feeding the video camera which is right in front of me and I do that I had it on a boom which actually the boom is still hanging here but the problem I found was most of my demos I was looking down and that did not deliver the best audio to have the microphone above me so by moving the microphone below whenever I'm demonstrating a product whether it be this kill of you or a YOLO box or some other product I'm usually looking down at the product for a lot of my talking time and thusly I'm speaking right into the microphone which is right here and feeding right to the camera. I'm using the audio mixer going into the YOLO box right here so that I could adjust the audio coming in from the HDMI. I could make sure I've got audio levels and I do the recording in the YOLO box. Now in addition to the work that I do for YOLO box I also have my own tech channel on YouTube and I have a background for that. But all of this equipment is facing this way. Well, all of this equipment is on wheels. So when I want to do a tech video for my Aiba Tech Thoughts channel, all of this actually rotates. So I'm making use of both this wall and this wall in this corner of the room and my studio rotates depending upon how I need to use it at the time. And that is, uh, I think, a very good feature of 
making the best use of the space. So I'm only using this 90 degree corner in my home office for studio space and I have other areas for my desk and for some gear storage. I wanted to show you down here, I actually put carpet in because carpet helps absorb the sound. And behind, I, behind my green backdrop, I actually have a gray backdrop, which I have used for certain clients. And having dual layers of fabric also helps to absorb sound that would bounce off the wall. So I've got the carpet on the floor, I've got fabric along the wall, and I've got sound tiles on the ceiling. And all of this helps to absorb the sound and make it sound less like a small home office and more like a studio. It doesn't cost a lot of money. It doesn't take a whole lot of time adding a throw rug, putting up some sound tiles, having some fabric on the wall. All of that really helps that sound less echoey, less like you're in a small room in your house. You can also see back there, I've got a little uh, hair light and that light has a cable that goes over and back. And since I can't necessarily reach it, I have a remote control for that switch and I can turn that off and I can turn that on so that when I'm ready to record something, I have a little backlight. And here you can see how it looks for me, my microphone. And then here I've got my Yola box so I can switch between my camera views, switch to this. And then if this uses software, the software is over here. I can bring up my laptop and make that part of the program. And the Yola box definitely makes it very easy for me to say, you know what, I want to add uh, picture in picture with the computer as the backdrop next and me in the foreground next and then of course I can make myself a little bigger and done and then this way I can bring that up right here and I can be referring to things that are on the computer screen over there but I could be pointing to them in the video so the people can see both me and what I'm referring to and I find that very helpful for tutorials. So you can see audio meter, my, my video standard, replay, and now my recording indicator. It's bigger, it's blinking, as well as the recording counter at the very top of the screen. All very welcome. We'll get to the replay in a moment, but first let's go over here with the Yolo box. I can both see the entire interface of the Yolo box or with the tap of a button. I can see just the program over here, making it easy to double check how the green screen looks, how the lighting looks, and also, you know, any content I might have in the shot and then also go back and be able to see what else is going on in terms of like camera angles and other things that are that I've got in the show. Now, when you are building your studio, you may find little things that you need to work around, like for instance, for these tutorials, a lot of what I do is I am referring to things on the screen. And if I am referring to things on the left hand side of the screen or the right hand side of the screen when i look down at it typically what happens is what the camera sees is flipped <clears throat> in the recording well that was constantly throwing me off in terms of what was right and what was left the easiest way to solve that would be to flip the image of what the camera is doing so this way this is going to be right on my right and on the screen well Doing that would flip the image of what's on the shirt and I had to create a reversed shirt so that when the camera is flipped, it then reads correctly on camera. But in reality, the shirt is backwards. These are little things that you learn from experience. You learn by doing. You, you test your situation and you find out what works for you. I had my microphone up here. I find it works better down there. I had a regular shirt. Now I have a flipped shirt. Everything evolves. Everything grows. And the YOLO Live, the YOLO box makes it very easy for me to adapt to things by having this right here on the desk. I can move it around. I can put it over here. I can move it wherever I need to move it for a particular task because it is so um, easily maneuverable and so flexible in how it works. Now, as always, if you find these videos useful to you, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of great content on the way. My name is Anthony Barocas for YOLA Live. Thanks for watching. With that, my name is Anthony Barocas for YOLO Live. Thanks for watching. Now, as always, if these tips, tips. Now, as always, if you find these video tutorials helpful to you, like the video, 
If you find these videos helpful, just like, uh, blah, blah. Now, as all, am I sorry? Yeah. Now, as always, please, blah, 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 blah. Now, as all, why did I put that up first? My name is Anthony Barocas for YOLO Live. Thanks for watching. I'm going to take do that one more time. Found seven seconds to be a little bit too long. Go back to five. Done. Done.